Welcome back to Vault VII. We made a good bit of progress and designed a lot of cool things like this jersey. Yeah, what do you think? Huh? I made it myself. Yeah, I was going to make one for all the moderators and thought we could do some kind of like baseball team. Like, look at the back, look at the back. See? Yeah. I was gonna make one for everybody. We could play on Thursdays, you know, it'd be like a nice team building exercise, but uh, Strong, you know, he just wasn't, he just wasn't really that into it. And uh, I, I guess we're just not, we're just not gonna do it. So it's, I'm okay. This vault series is going to be very similar to my sanctuary build where I show you guys like the progress as I'm decorating and then I will do a final tour video of the entire vault. And with that, a lot of things are probably going to be adjusted or replaced the more I decorate. So like everything I'm showing you in these videos is subject to change in some way or another, especially since I'm learning how to do more and more things in the creation kits. Oh, and by the way, so the final tour video is going to be completely decked out. Like I don't normally have settlers in my videos, but that's gonna change. I'm gonna fill this whole place up with all kinds of settlers and animation markers to really make it feel alive. You know, I think that's one thing that has always been lacking in my builds. It's always just been like this huge like ghost town that I show you so I'm gonna try to change that. But this is the general area. It's coming along pretty nicely. It's still got a ways to go but it's you know it's getting there. But the first thing I want to show you is this statue of the overseer and his cat. Or you know like me and Susan. Now I didn't make this statue. I bugged the hell out of this modder named Mintha who didn't even know me. I was just pointed in her direction and apparently I'm not afraid to ask people for favors that I don't even know. But I think she did an amazing job, and I really appreciate her taking the time to do this for me. She has some really cool Fallout mods and a ton of Skyrim mods, so check out her work. I have the link in the description. And this isn't the texture that she made for me. I couldn't get that to work for whatever reason. It's probably something stupid that I'm doing, but uh, I'll figure that out, and the texture of the statue is probably going to change. But for now, I still think it looks absolutely amazing, so thank you, Mintha. I really appreciate you taking the time. And my admin, Commonwealth Charlie, requested to design the cafeteria. So he decorated the majority of this. I just kind of changed a few things around here and there, but overall this was his design. Oh, and apparently someone just messed themselves right here on the floor, and then someone else brought the stuff to clean it up, like everything you need. You got the you got the mop, you got the sign, and then they just walked away. So I guess we're just gonna clean that up later. So, sorry guys, sorry for the mess, but uh, this is the cafeteria. And I think Charlie did a really good job on this. Like it looks lived in, but not too messy and not too clean. It's like a perfect blend of everything. And like I said, I changed a few things here and there, not much in this room, but I turned this into like a walk-in fridge. And I realized afterwards that I put a fridge inside the fridge. So that's my bad, but uh, I'm not changing it because it's, you know, it's kind of funny. And right next to the cafeteria is my merch shop. And I actually have an online store. Well, it's like redbubble.com. I have a few t-shirt designs on there. And I actually ordered shirts from them before, and it's really good quality stuff. So if you're into t-shirts and my channel, go check it out. I got some cool designs on there. So I made this merch shop as a representation of that, and I think it came out pretty cool. I got, I got some interesting things in here. So we got the cordless VII sunglasses. And then the holotapes over here represent hard copies of my videos in case you need to watch them on the go and you don't have a cell phone. Okay, I just realized that was a stupid idea. But my favorite part of this is this like the shirt wall, right? It's kind of like Hot Topic, you know, where they had the shirt designs on the wall and then cubbies below and then you can pick out the ones that you want. And most of these designs are available on redbubble.com. So like I ordered a few, the Overseer, and of course, the Susan shirts, because I'm not above wearing pictures of my cat on my shirt in public. And on this wall, I had a few empty spaces, so I just included my old YouTube designs. Like, do you remember that one? You remember this one? That was the first one I designed where it was like my own brand and not using the Fallout Vault Boy. And uh, if you remember this one, that was the very first one that I did. So let me know in the comments if you remember that one, because you've been following me for a very long time, and I really appreciate your support. And there's a few other ones that's like, that's an off version of my regular one that I have now. And, uh, oh, Vault Fab, it was made for Proton Rads, my moderator, because he is, the dude likes pink. I don't know. That's his thing. I let him run with it. And this is my women's section. It's all the same designs, but with women's clothing. And then over here on display is my overseer line. 
I made all these, but huge shout out to Mimaif because she taught me how to do it and let me pick her brain for like ever, every single day, asking her questions, figuring out how to do this. So I really appreciate her patience. And she's also making Vault VII pins like the one I have here on this jacket. Doesn't really look like a pin because I'm, I, I'm new. I suck. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting there. But those will be available online as well, and I will keep you posted on them. Um, but everything else is kind of like little, you know, so like this is like a statue of my statue, I guess. Kind of like a little figurine that I made. And over on this wall is my vault security armor. Now, it's not real vault security armor. Like, you can't just come in here and buy this stuff and then all of a sudden you're a moderator. Like, it's a replica. We will know the difference. But uh, I am going to change the vault suit color. I might make it like a deep red or something to match the armor a little bit better. And this is a figurine of my chief of security, Donald Strong. I thought that came out pretty cool. It's really expensive, so I gotta be careful around it. But yeah, this is my shop. So if you wanna check out the online store, the link will be in the description. Now the last part that I wanna show you is the arcade. And this is probably my favorite part of the general area so far. I just like having the outside walls and floors different from the main atrium, because it kinda of mixes things up a bit. So if you're working on a vault and it seems kind of bland, try doing something like that. Like you see how I did with the cafeteria and also with the shop. Both of those have different textures from the main atrium area, which makes them stand out. But let's check out the arcade. All right, so, so what do you think? Is it, it looks like an arcade, doesn't it? Like with the lighting and the arcade machines, like, is it obvious that I haven't spent much time in an arcade before? Like it's the closest I've been to one is uh, like the ones that they have attached to like, the putt-putt places, you know? And that's been, God, it's, it's been a while since I've been to one of those, like at least a couple of weeks. But uh, yeah, so I kind of just went off of what I imagined an arcade would be. And also, fun fact, do not power up these machines in the, like a second away from each other because the music will play off, like a second off beat from each other. And then I, that's the first thing that I did. I powered up these machines first and then decorated the rest of this place, so I had to mute because I was slowly losing my mind. But this is like a custom claw machine thing that I made. You know, like the little the claw thing that's like, it just takes your money because you never really win anything from it. It's like, yeah, that's uh, that's what I made. So I used a porta diner and then glitched in a few other structures around it. And uh, this was Strong's idea and I implemented it poorly, I think. I mean, it looks okay. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I put a few things inside there, like uh, the bobbleheads and stuff like that. But what I'm really proud of, though, is this thing. It's the band hammer toss. So you see the wall back there. I actually designed that in Photoshop and put it into the game as a poster and then just blew it up to make it look like a wall. And that is creepy. I have not seen them move before, which I guess that's why you call them an animatronic. But uh, yeah, that's, that's weird as shit. Um, so I put the shirt on the animatronic, and that is weird. I do not like it. All the more reason to throw band hammers at it, I guess. But uh, yeah, so that was a lot of fun to do. Um, I'm really kind of, it's taken me a lot longer to decorate things because I'm, you know, with Place Everywhere, you can scale things, you can rotate things around, and it's just kind of opened up this whole new way of decorating, and I'm just trying to think outside the box while also trying to get things done in a timely manner. But uh, over here is my gift shop. Well, it's you know you, where you spend your tickets and everything. So I put a few things inside the glass cabinet, which I wish there was another one of these that I could place right beside it, like just the glass parts, because it seems like there's you know it should be more, but it will do for now. I just think it looks pretty cool. And yeah, this is the rest of the prizes, and uh, that's the whole arcade. But that's all I want to show you for now. There are other places in the vault that are done, like Charlie has finished up his office and living quarters, and I'm pretty sure Strong's office is done, but uh, I want to show them off whenever I decorate the vault security room, which I'll be doing in the next couple of videos. But after I finish up down here in the general area, I'll only have a couple more rooms to do, and then everything will be done. So if it seems like it's taken a while, it, it'll start picking up very soon. I'm guessing maybe like three or four more videos before the final tour. But thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you want to join in on the real Vault VII, check out my Discord server. I'm on there all the time, and it's become a great settlement building community. Also, I recently set up a Patreon account that has all kinds of rewards, such as private Discord role and channels, monthly giveaways, sneak peeks of what I'm working on, and a lot more. Both of those links will be in the description. But please give this video a like, and if you want to see more of my builds, check out the links right here that YouTube picked out just for you. And if you want more content from me, then click that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon.